Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here. I hope everybody's well, I hope everybody's happy. So it's mid-afternoon on an absolutely fantastic day. It's about 30 degrees centigrade. I've been sweating like a pig for the past few hours. And um, I'm, at the, um, I'm at the house and I've actually been um, insul laying insulation underneath the, um, underneath the floorboards. Okay, you can just see the, um, um, I've left that one open as it were. Okay, so um, the flooring is now back. Um, so I've been doing this for a short while now and um, I've got a little bit of a plan as to how to do it really. I mean, it's not difficult. Um, so all this bedroom here is done, apart from this area here, but there's a bit of a problem down there, so I'm gonna come back to that. So what I'm now gonna do is to pick up where I left off and um, finish off this bedroom here. Um, the insulation, I've pushed it underneath the, um, the stud wall there and brought it back as far as it will go. So I've now got to continue with the insulation in these areas here. Now, um, the house has been rewired. Um, just for the purposes of clarity, you will see that's lots of wires um, underneath the um, floor, between the joists, etc. And um, I've double checked with the electrician and it's because of the type of wiring which is used, it's okay to simply lay the insulation over the wires, okay? It can either be underneath or on top of, it doesn't really make any difference, okay? Um, in terms of preparation, obviously, you know, you need to um, lift the bores to enable access to the underfloor area. You will also see that the areas between the joists are extremely clean, apart from a little bit of dust. So basically, I vacuumed every single area and they're really nice and clean now because I just don't want to leave a lot of crap under there. I mean, there's no point, it's just idleness, isn't it? Now, don't get me wrong, it takes a little bit of time and I had to brush out some of the bigger bits which got stuck in the vacuum. But nevertheless, it's a worthwhile um, thing to do and it certainly makes me feel as if I've done a much better job. So, um, what I'm going to do is just to um, set up the tripod. I'm using um, some rolls of 200 millimeter insulation. It's a top up insulation, but it's perfect for doing what I want to do. Okay, these rolls are 1200 meters high or long, and basically um, the joists are um, spaced around about 400, so 400, 450, whatever it is, it doesn't make any odds. But the fact is, um, basically, if you get these rolls and cut them into thirds, then just it enables you to fit them um, perfectly between the joists. Anyway, I'll just reset the camera and I'll get back to you. So here's a complete roll. Obviously you can pause the video if you wish. Three 
So if you've got a nice sharp blade, that cuts it quite well, look. And the other thing is, of course, you'll notice that I've actually kept it in the the plastic um, the plastic bag, okay. Just keeps it all together.